Chris Barry here with today's three minute hit. Look, I, I want to have a little private conversation with you here. Let's, let's get close. Like, look me in the eye. Because I want you to be honest with me about something here. I, I know that I've got no way of actually telling if you are going to be honest, but it's between you and me. Like, let's be honest. Let's talk. Let's, let's, let's get to the nut of things. If you and I met in a bar and we had a couple of beers and I said to you, listen, I'm not supposed to tell anybody this, but I know of a company that's in the information security realm and they're about to announce a deal with the Canadian Department of Defense. And the money in that deal will be equal to a quarter of this company's market cap. I would think that you would sit up and be like, hmm, tell me more. Okay. Here's the other thing that's interesting. They've got other deals with other large companies and government groups that come to 40 plus million dollars a year, which is four times their current market cap. So another 10 times what we just talked about, what had your interest, the Department of Defense deal, which government money, man, they pay on time. This company had a three, $4 million deal with government money with the Canadian Department of Defense. Once you're in with those guys, you're never out with those guys, right? They don't change suppliers every other day. If you're getting in with the Department of Defense, you've gone through it already security-wise and they trust you. But then that deal is 10% of all the other deals that they're currently doing. And if I said to you, you know, like, while we've been talking, they renewed a contract uh, with one of their uh, flagship security platforms with an overseas automotive technology and sourcing solutions provider, you would be like, so that it, those deals aren't in the distance. They're doing deals today. And if I said to you, again, uh, they also just renewed one of their overseas contracts um, with a, a cloud-based management solution for hotels, holiday homes, apartments, and more. You could probably do the math on that one and figure out who that might be. But they just renewed that contract. That a high profile customer, an example that they are retenting, retenting, retaining their contract. So to reiterate, just did a deal for 10% of their revenue with the Canadian Department of Defense. That 10% of their revenue is 10% of $40 million that they currently do annually, 40 million plus. Their market cap is only 12 million. Do they lose money? Look, it's moving towards profitable. It's not yet there. They've gone through the last couple of years, a strutting big lineup of acquisitions to buy market share, to buy new technology, to get themselves into more and more uh, areas where it takes a long time to build trust. But $40 million plus, getting towards 50 is coming in. It's only a $12 million market cap. What would you say? I would think that you'd go out there and you'd buy the shit out of that. I would think that if we were just whispering behind a bar and I told you those details, and I say that when I say it's a computer information security company, I don't just mean they've got software that they sell that's like antivirus, but an actual patented technology where their software watches you while you're working, watches what you do. It watches your keystrokes. It watches the tabs that you're opening up. It watches how your mouse moves around the screen. It watches how long you take between sentences, what typos you make. It watches everything you do to make sure that once a password has been typed in, if you go off to the break room and make some coffee, that there isn't someone coming in when you're not looking, pretending they're you and sending information. If they find that there's some sort of break in the patterns that are established over a long period, IT gets to hear about it. Someone marches down to your office and makes sure that you are where you were supposed to be. That's interesting because passwords and logins are the shittiest form of computer security. Honestly, if you've got passwords that are longer than three minutes old, you're in trouble. I got to tell you this right now. Like how many times have I gone and ordered a pizza from somewhere and I get an email back saying, oh, actually your credit card was compromised. These guys go into a different area of computer security. They're looking at you and testing you all shift. This is important. This is a step up beyond what we're used to. And it's why the Department of Defense, it's why these cloud-based real estate and hotel platforms are into them. 
It's why they keep renewing the contracts that they've got with these big companies, big banks, big government institutions, military. The company is called Pluralock, P-L-U-R-I-L-O-C-K. And when you go look at what it does, you, there's going to be one other thing that pounces up at you that you might not expect. And that is AI involvement, man. AI right now, who doesn't love AI? I've honestly used AI five times today. Like I'm looking at maybe letting someone go because I don't need them anymore. I've got AI. AI is the next big goddamn thing. And Pluralock has been using AI in its system for several years. They're not just coming along and going, oh, what, are we, what can we get that's got AI in the title? No, they're already in that space, actively in that space. They've got the patents. They're doing the business, making the money. So if you like AI, you should be liking Pluralock. I'll say this as well, that this computer security industry is one that I think is rife to explode with new interest. We are getting to a place where because of AI, we're going to be more exposed than we ever have been before. And companies that are already using AI to fight back, well, that's interesting to me. You can take away all the other things I've said about Pluralock, all the, the deals, all the contracts, all security they've gone through, the fact that they're into the government payment platforms, the, the fact that they've got existing clients, that they've been buying assets, expanding market share, take away all that. They're actively using AI and making money out of it. Why would you not be invested in this? Like, you look at the stock, it's been, it's been active the last few months. It's been moving slowly up. It kind of goes up, then it goes down, it goes up and it goes down. Why does it keep going down? Because there are people who've been in this stock for a long time and have seen before the most recent three to four months, have seen losses. They've seen stocks slide down because every quarter is a loss because the company is going out and buying things. Now that the company has pretty much achieved what it needs, there are only two things that are going to happen. One, it's either not going to buy a thing or it's going to buy a big thing. Those are the only two options. It isn't going around picking up shit on the sidelines anymore. It doesn't need to expand its market share beyond where it is. It's at a place where it is revenues, money coming in. So why is the stock still at 13 and a half cents? No, sorry, 16 and a half cents. It was 13 and a half cents last week, 10 cents the week before, eight cents the week before that. Why is it still only 16 and a half cents? Because people are scared. People don't understand what it is and they're waiting for everybody else to get on the dance floor. Well, thank you for that. I'm on the dance floor now. I got your cheap stock. Now I'm going to be sitting on it for a while, waiting to see what y'all do. If there are weak hands in here who still want to see a jump from 16 and a half cents to 17 and a half and they're going to cash in, I will take all your money. By all means, sell me your cheap stock. I love it. I want it. I want more. You know who else wants more? The insiders at Pluralock. They are buying their own damn cheap stock because they see what some of you out there in retail don't see. As long as that's happening, you should be taking orders from the activities of those that are close to the wheel. They know what they see. They know the conversations that they're having and they're buying every opportunity that they can. Every news release is about how they've got another deal or that they've reinforced a deal or they've expanded on a deal or they've bought an asset that increases their market share. Guys, please, for the love of Mike, get it into your head. This is a for realsy AI company doing business with government. You can go and put as much money as you want into ChatGPT or some Russian app on Google Play that makes your face look like a puppy. That ain't it. AI that is actually being used in government processes right now for money, that's where I want my AI investment to be. Pluralock is there right now and people are starting to figure it out. If you're not one of them, if you want to go over there and you want to spot something shiny that says AI on it and it's going to, I don't know, uh, do an AR dragon that you can use an app to take a selfie with. Cool. But real AI? Yeah, that's where money's coming. That's where business is done. And Pluralock right now, P-L-U-R is the ticker symbol, is doing active business. Guys, ladies, uh, kids, old people, fat people, skinny people, people who like wearing purple hats, Please go have a look at PLUR. Now, admittedly, it's a client of ours. We get paid by them to talk about them. We get paid to look at them in front of other companies that haven't paid us. That's our deal. 
it isn't a case of pay us money and then we'll say nice things. You look at what's happened with Amped over the last few weeks. We've been very straight about the problems at Amped, what happened to get Amped to the place it was, and now the rebuild program that they're engaging in to get it up. Another AI company, by the way, and an absolute freaking bargain at the market cap that it is right now. But let's stick to Pluralog. Guys, look through the news releases. This is what I implore you. Go through every one of those news releases and play the game of company whack-a-mole. If you are looking at a cloud-based management solution for hotels, holiday homes, apartments, and more, I have an idea of who that might be. And if they were allowed to say, this is computer security, right? So you don't want to go out there and give people your client list. But if they were allowed to give the client list, I feel like there'd be an extra digit in this share price. So I'm going to play the game where we wait for their next financials. We know that they're not going out there buying too much right now. They just expanded their line of credit to give them a little bit more relief if they need it. Pluralock, man. Pluralock. AI computer security. That's in my jam. That's my that's in my basket. I like you. Subscribe for more. Peace out from Equity Guru. <laughs>